of our 47,000 children are living in institutions of care. There are many factors that drives children from their families, from their communities, into the institutions of care. And one is poverty, education, orphanhood. Sometimes it's violence within the family environment. Disability also is, is also a, a, a contributor. Living in the institutions for children is not a good thing. Uh, recently, I visited a children's home, and this home had 45 children. And the, you could see the space where the 45 children are living. Light from the, the, where they are sleeping, where they are eating from, their playground, the living conditions are bad. When such children who are growing in such clouded environment, they don't have sufficient caregivers, they are not only losing in terms of their physical, they are also losing in terms of their one-on-one -on -one interaction with a caregiver, which will affect their adult life. Lumos work is very important to this country and to the children and families of this country. Lumos expertise in terms of uh, resources and expertise of transforming care systems around the world will benefit the care system of Kenya. The highlight of Lumos work in Kenya, in the micro level, when the children officers gain knowledge and capacity, that prevention of separation is very, very important. They'll not place them in institutions of care where life is not good, but they'll be able to prevent separation and be able to guide the community and the families on how to care for their children. That will have a direct impact on the children and the community. One thing that I'm really proud of is that the children officers at the county level, at the sub-county level, they have changed the way they are doing things. Their practice has changed. And when we give capacity to the government in terms of the expertise, uh, capacity building, and even financial support into the process of implementing care reforms, that will go a long way. Recently, a child was brought to a children's office, a lost child. Previously, the children officer could quickly place them in, in the institutions of care without exploring and putting efforts to trace their families. But this children officer was able to trace the family and reconnect the child with the family. And the children officer said, when the child saw the mother, the boy had that big smile. I'm really proud of that. One step at a time, we are seeing prevention of separation, light at the children's office, which has not been happening. And a good example is Ebb County, where Lumos is implementing care reforms. We are working closely with the local authorities. Lumos giving these children officers capacity in terms of expertise and knowledge and skills on the issue of care reforms. This has started to bring change of practice. For me, that is inspiring, and it is bringing about sustainability of Lumos work at the county level. It is not just developing papers and policies, but also implementing that paper and demonstrating that care reforms is a goal within reach. What makes Lumos different in the care and protection of children is that Lumos boldly stepped out to promote family and community-based care for all children. And when I mean all children, it is including children with disability. Why should people support Lumos? And why are we inviting you to come and support Lumos? This is because for the last almost two decades, Lumos has been persistent and consistent in promoting family and community-based care for children. I have found an organization that is so strong in believing that children need to grow in families. So for me, I am glad that I work for Lumos and Lumos vision and mission connects with my passion. The journey into ensuring that all children grow in safe and loving families can be made possible by your support.